You know, there are a lot of programs out there that can really dig deep in your system and customize it to the max. There are tons and tons of applications that can tweak your system, customize it, modify it to the way you want it to look. But how many are there that actually do the job properly? It was going on everyone, MacBoard here from MacBoard Productions. And today I have a small app review for you of iTweaks. So once you launch it, it looks something like this. It'll ask you for a password the first time you launch it, but after that you have full access to iTweaks. Basically what it has is five different categories, as you can see on its toolbar. Maintenance, tweaks, cleaning, restore, and of course system info. Now, what I like the best is a tweak section. This is where you can really dig deep in your system and modify, customize, do whatever you need to do to make your Mac look the way you want it to look. When I say you want to customize the system, that, that means like the dock, the finder, the spotlight, Safari, mail, anything, anything in the operating system you may customize to the max. Now, one of my personal favorites is this one. It's in the dock section and when you click on lock dock size, I really like it because as soon as you enter a new item in the dock, meaning if you drag more applications in it, normally what it does is the icons in the dock, they become smaller. When you click on lock dock size and apply it, it will ask you for a restart, but you need to restart right there. I'm sorry. If you apply it and then you go to your system or you go to your applications folder and you start to add some things, nothing happens. The icons stay the same. Anyways, one of my cool features, one of the cool features I like in iTweaks. And you know, there are many, many out there. You can just go ahead and check them out, play around with it. Just don't screw anything up because if you don't know what you're doing, you can really screw up your system. What I'm telling you is this is a good application to really modify your operating system. And guys, if you really don't know what you're doing, I do not recommend you doing this because I do not want to be responsible for anything going wrong on your operating system. Just saying. Anyway, that's basically, you can go ahead and download from the link in the description. Enjoy iTweaks from the link in the description. And you know what? I actually came across this application from my blog. So if you guys don't know my blog, you can go ahead and visit that bookmark it from the link in the description once again. That's macbookpro.blogspot.com. And also in the description, you will find my Twitter and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Once again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see every single one of you right here next time on MacBoy Productions.